Guitar tablature is a graphic representation of the six strings on the guitar. Now, the bottom line is actually the thickest string on the guitar, the low E string or the sixth string. The top line represents the thinnest string on the guitar or the high E, the first string. So I get it when you're just looking at the guitar this way, it kind of looks backwards, huh? The sixth string is up here on the guitar. Well, think of it this way. Think of it as if you're looking at your guitar kind of down like this. Now look, the sixth string is down on the bottom. If I actually go this way, you can't see it, but I see the sixth string on the bottom. If you ever forget, that's a good way to remind yourself of what you're looking at. Just turn your guitar this way, and that's what you're looking at on the graphic. My diagram is showing all six strings or six lines, but I've also, on the left-hand side, I've numbered them and put the letter names as a reminder. Now in this new diagram, I've included the open strings on the guitar in numbers. So the numbers mean this is the fret that you're playing that note. And they're all zeros. That means they're all open strings. If you saw a different number, that would mean that's where you'd put your finger. So for an example, on the sixth string, if that zero was actually a three, you'd put your finger on the third fret of the sixth string. Let's go ahead and play each of these six strings. We'll start with that first note. It's open E or low E, the sixth string. Now the fifth string, also known as A, the fourth string. I hope you're playing along with me. I know it seems simple, but it'll help it all come together. Third string, also known as G. The second string, it's B. And then E, call it high E, or I often write it with a, a lowercase letter to indicate the high E and a uppercase letter to indicate the low E. Low E is the thickest string. It's also the lowest string. And when we say low, we're talking low in pitch, not physically low. Obviously, it's up higher on the guitar, but physically, it's the lowest pitch. Check out this new diagram. Now I'm showing you the actual chord names above the tablature, as well as a pattern that's what we call a block chord pattern. It means I'm playing several notes at one time. So try this out with me. First of all, go ahead and make a G chord. Now, I often just make the full chord, but in this case, we're not gonna play that first string. So if you don't wanna put a finger there, don't worry about it. Then go ahead and plant your fingers. The thumb will go on the sixth string, and the three fingers will go on strings four, three, and two. They're prepared now to pluck. So you'll notice in the left hand, that third finger is on the third fret of the sixth string, hence the number three. And the three zeros in a row mean those are three open strings. Let's go ahead and play this chord now according to the tablature. And that means you'll first pluck the bass note. Notice they're not all together. And now you pluck all three open strings. And we're gonna repeat that. Get ready, plant, bass note, and pluck. Now we'll go on to the next measure, which is a C chord. Let's form the C chord first. And again, we may not pluck all these notes. In this case, we're just gonna leave out the first string again. Plant your right hand, your thumb goes on the fifth string. The rest of the fingers go on four, three, and two, like before. Now look at that tablature again, you'll notice that the number three on that fifth string means that's the third fret, and my third finger is there. Now I've also got a two on the fourth string, that's the second finger, a zero on the third string, that's open, and a one on the second string, that's the first fret. Let's get ready to play it together. We'll start with the bass, pluck. Good, and now the fingers, all together. Again, bass, and pluck. You just played that measure. Let me go ahead and play a short clip with me playing this basic pattern. Now take a close look at the numbers as I play it and compare it to my fingers.
this next one is very similar to the one we just did, same chords, but now instead of block chords, we're playing an arpeggio. That just means it's a chord broken up one note at a time. Instead of playing all three notes together, we're gonna play one at a time. Let's do it together. Go ahead and form your G chord and plant your hand just like before, thumb on the sixth string. Your fingers are on four, three, and two. Now we're gonna start out by plucking the sixth string. Again, you see a three because the third fret in my left hand. And then pluck one note at a time. Four, three, and two. That's the strings I'm calling out. And that's common with finger style guitar. You call it the string names when you're finger picking. Let's do it again. Pluck bass. Now four, three, and two. Let's go on to the C chord. Form your C chord. Plant your hand. Thumbs on the fifth string this time. Ready, pluck, four, three, and two. Plant again, and I'll call it the string names. Five, four, three, two. Now the tablature is telling you, put your third finger on the third fret and so on. I'm calling out the string names as well, which is kind of a way to communicate the order of the strings that you play and is a common way to also indicate finger picking patterns. I'm going to go ahead and play this one also. Watch both the tablature and my fingers and see how they connect together. Thanks for joining me today. This has been fun. If you'd like to stay in touch, become a real guitar insider. It's easy and there's no charge. I'll put a link in the description and maybe somewhere up there. See you again soon. Bye for now.